Hello everyone, how are we doing today? So today we have Can a cute ghost be a cute ghost story be spooky? Uh, I don't know, I, I saw this on Itch.io and I was like, yeah, 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 you know, you know, it should be fun. It should be a fun little game. See how it goes. I don't know. Uh, give it a go. So yeah. Uh, yeah. If you like the video, like the video. Make sure you subscribe and comment down in the comments to tell me, tell me how you're feeling about it, about the video. Um, but without, without wasting time, let's just jump straight into it. Do, 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 do. Based on a true... Hi kids, ready to be scared? I don't want to lie, it will be a very scary story. If Ooh, you get scared spooky. easily, you are free to leave. Are you still here? So, do you want to hear the story? Yes! Okay. Don't yes. complain with me if you cry. Oh, I okay. warned you. Well... In a dark cemetery full of scary ghosts, there's an old house haunted by a specter called Jimmy. Oh no. Jimmy is oh, only Jimmy. 174 years old. He's basically just a little kid like you. And in this house that our story begins. Like every night, Jimmy takes his favorite hat in front of the mirror before leaving the house. No one can understand Jimmy? how special that hat is to Jimmy. Me, it was made given by to him Jimmy. by his mother for his 276th birthday. If only someone tried to steal it, <laughs> Jimmy would probably go crazy. Yeah, it's my little hat. Look at it. Look at that little hat. So, I was gonna say someone needs to clean this, but you know, I'm a ghost. Yeah, pizza. Be a cool ghost. I like it. I like it. This is a dark and spooky night, but Jimmy doesn't care. He is always happy. He you always like cats. The family before going to the town. He is such a thoughtful guy. We want we want to rest in peace. Private cemetery. He didn't believe in death. Hello, family. Oh, Bob. How are you today? Oh. Come on, guys. Oh. Seems to be in a mortuary. Answer me, please. Okay. He just wanted some pancakes. Death is too long to be bored. He believed he could fly. He ordered a pineapple pizza in an Italian restaurant. He accidentally set the house on fire because he saw a spider. Look, that's fair. I hope you like this music. It will last approximately 20 hours. Jimmy, stop this music now! Sorry, but ah. this music cannot be stopped. Now I'm going to town. Bye. Jimmy, come here! You- Oh, Jesus. That's why I love Jimmy. He is so innocent and naive. Luckily, I applied some family-friendly filters to this story. We certainly don't want to see Jimmy cry. She doesn't talk too much. <laughs> Cemetery only for rich ghosts. He knew the alphabet. God damn it, Ricky. No one should know that. He spent all his money on market shares. He lost everything. No, not stonks. <laughs> He wanted to save money on medical care. Oh well, you know. He accidentally donated one dollar to a charity. <laughs> business, business, another business. Good on you, Gabriel. Spent millions on of dollars on a private jet. It exploded. Ooh. Historic cemetery. Commemorative obelisk for the coolest dudes of the past. Oh, sick. Oh, David. He tested a strange new drink in, a, in the banquet during a political conference. Well, he believed that people's decisions making, decision making power was a good thing, betrayed by his own people. And then Anderson, he lived a quiet life until he was arrested by the police for 
fraudulent bankruptcy. Haha, <laughs> I get it. He's never good at playing guitar. Well, that's why you don't play guitar. After Stupid. two hours, Jimmy has finally arrived. And now he's so hungry. Luckily, he knows an excellent Italian restaurant in town. It's a perfect night to eat pizza. Mmm. Yum yum pizza. Oh, f another balloon is popped. Hey, dude, don't be mad. Do you want to get a pizza with me? I'll pay for it. Really? Thanks, buddy. Anyway, I'm Dave. It's nice to meet you. I'm Jimmy. Nice to meet you, too. Follow me to the restaurant. Now Jimmy and his new friend are ready to have a good night of fun. Wow. Was that a summoning circle? It is a summoning circle. Hi. Anyways. Whoa. I'm not gonna read all that. But I don't see pizza. Pizzas, none! There's no pizzas! Wait, what does it say on the We apologize for the inconvenience. We printed the menu, the menu half in English and the other half in Italian. Fair. Oh, what a lovely place. Jimmy, nice to see you again. Is the guy next to you your new friend? Yes, his name is Dave. He likes to eat pizza like me. Well, Dave, you are in the right place. I make the best Italian pizzas in town. Now take a seat so I'll take your orders. Thanks. You seem like a very nice person, Mario. Jimmy, no, yeah. aren't you forgetting something? Um, what? Yeah, yeah. I have to wash my hands before eating. You know, hygiene first. Good boy, Jimmy. Good boy. Where do I wash my hands? Oh. Oh. Can I go into the ladies? No. <laughs> okay, guys. Which pizza do you want to order? <gasps> Oh, oh, I, I want, what's a Four Seasons pizza? Hmm, uh, margarita. Choice, something, Jimmy. something you simple, you know? You order? I would like to taste the most traditional pizza in Italy, the pineapple pizza. <gasps> pineapple pizza is a traditional Italian pizza? <laughs> Jimmy, you didn't tell me your new friend was so funny. I'm not joking, I'm serious. Ah. Uh. <laughs> How many times have I told you not to let these pizza criminals under my restaurant? Sorry, Mario. I thought Dave was a normal ghost. Guess I was wrong. Now, can I have Maybe, my pizza? Was he the one that, um, Always from the cemetery that tried to order pe pineapple on the pizza? I feel like Mario's he was. Always good. Yes, it's true. But to be honest, Mario seems strange these nights. Why is he a strange narrator? Mario seems more angry lately. I think something is going on. Yeah, maybe you're right. But it doesn't really matter now. I want to go to sleep. Whoa. I'm tired. Okay, we'll talk about it tomorrow. Let's go home. Oh, actually, I'm going to check that um the cemetery to see if it was him that ate the pineapple on pizza. Always like cats, doesn't talk too much. Need the alphabet. I saw shares, medical bills, accidentally, business, business. Where was the pineapple and pizza guy? Oh, no, it wasn't Dave, it was William. Jeez. Oh well, let's go Betty boy. Yeah, hehe. <laughs> let's go to bed. What? Okay. There's only so much additional fun I can have.
Is this a dream? I'm confused. My hat. Oh no. This hole stole my hat. Stupid. Now the party's ruined. Oh, someone's knocking on the door. Well, maybe it's my friend Dave. Go to the door. Where's the door? Man, this place is. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Coming back. Come back here, you filth. Oh. Jimmy, Jimmy, ah! my balloons were stolen. I'm very worried. Be calm. In my party, there are many balloons. Follow me. Thanks, friend. I knew I could trust you. Oh, yeah. Let's go, boy. What oh. happened here? The party's gone? What? I'm sorry, Dave. There are no more balloons now. Where's Dave? Dave? What? Dave. Dave, where, where are you? Where is Dave? Dave? What? I don't trust this. Oh, fucking. What a strange dream. Luck is all fake. Nobody's sleeping. What are you What are you No. Someone stole my favorite hat, like in my dream. The thief must have made a hole in the wall to get into my house. Henrietta, are you there? Can you hear me? What should I do now? <gasps> now he is gone. Last night he told me he had to tell me something important today. And now he's gone. Oh, it's Dave. Better open the door. Jimmy! Jimmy! My balloon- Yeah, I know. Your balloons have been stolen and you're very worried. What? How did you know that? Are you the thief? It's not me. I just had a premonitory dream. Tonight, even my favorite hat was stolen. Before knocking on your door, I saw someone enter the ancient abandoned crypt. <gasps> Maybe it's the thief. Really? Let's go get him. Let's go, friend. We must take back what is ours. Let's go! Oh, they ruined my house. Unbelievable. Jimmy, stop. I, I can't go with you. What's the problem? Oh, Dave. Don't you want to get your balloons back? Yeah, I want them back. I'm just afraid of abandoned places. Oh. You not be alone. You'll be with me. Here we go. I'm sorry, Jimmy. But I'm staying here. Oh, Dave, don't you? Oh, no, there we go. You. I'll go in there alone. Yeah, screw you, Dave. Yeah, you see, you're watching me do this? Yeah. I don't need Dave. Yeah, little find my hat by myself. bitch. Okay. Let's do this. I was gonna say, I don't have to check out all these, like, empty bloody crypts or anything, do I? This is so a lot, a, a lot, lot of stairs in this. A lo I love how the game is kind of like just shifted completely. It's nice. It's nice, you know. Oh, what the what hell? Is this place. I've never been here before. Is there any way I can tell the ones about to break? Oh, what the hell? Um, feel like it wouldn't be as obvious, you know? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Okie doke. I don't even know how he's breaking those pieces of wood. He's a ghost. Are you serious? Speedrun stats. Strats. Yeah, you get what I mean. <gasps> Do you have my hat? Ha, the thief. Now that he's not looking at me, I better find a weapon to hit him. <laughs> oh, this piece of wood could come in handy. I'm gonna get you. Oh, this hurts. Who are you? I'm Jimmy, and I'm here to get my hat back. You understand that, thief? I'm not a thief. Wait, Give me back my hat. So what are you doing here? 
I'm the famous Professor William. I'm from England, here to study these ancient inscriptions. What? Wow. They look like they're drawn by five-year-old kids. You're just a troglodyte. You don't understand the importance of history. It all began 15 centuries ago. Lord Frederick was governor and... Uh, I don't have time for that now. Oh, I'm thank you. My hat. Okay, if it helps. I saw a dude with a chef's hat a while ago. He was holding Ooh, a red Mario. hat in his hand. My hat is red, and the dude over there with the chef's hat is Mario. So where did it go? I, I really need to know. He entered the door near me. Thanks, Professor. You're pretty helpful, actually. Uh, where do you think you're going? You have to do one thing. Did you think hitting me with a piece of wood had no consequences? Uh, okay, what, what, what do you want me to do? You have to bring me an ancient map. It's located in a very dangerous area of the crypt. Some say they have seen strange ghosts in this area. But strange worry, ghosts? It's just a story made up to scare the kids. Moreover, it's very dark there. Luckily, I'm also an inventor. I created special glasses to see better in the dark. Do you want them? Yes, actually. I'm glad so. That would be lovely. Visions. I'm sure these glasses will be very useful for you. I don't like that it was a uh, mul multiple question. Mul wow, these glasses are very useful. Ooh. Ew. Oh, what the hell is that? Fucking stop that, you filth. Motherfuckers. Alright. Low battery? What? Yeah, these glasses are useless. Battery ran out immediately. Oh. There is an arrow on the floor. Maybe if I follow it, I'll find something. I'm not stupid. I just like to go with the flow, you know? Nothing wrong about that. The map. <gasps> Better take it and get out of this dark place. See, if I grab it on the other side of the table, nothing can come and kill me. Now I just have to go the opposite way of where I went. Ha! Oh, I'm so good. Now I just spread, spread full speed! What the hell? Oh, okay. They didn't say run the other way. Just said run. Mm. What the hell did you do? Where are these dudes keep coming from? Maybe if I run around in a circle. Yeah, take that, you fools. Woohoo! Feel like I'm... Yeah, did I make a map? Hey, there you are. Whoa, I found the map. Excellent. Was it difficult to find? Not Whoa. so much. Ooh. Mostly, it was just very dark in that place. Luckily, you had my special glasses. Was it useful? Tell the truth. Honestly, your glasses suck. The battery literally ran out in like 10 seconds. You should like get a real job. And, uh, <laughs> sorry, but I have to find my hat. I've wasted way too much time with you. Oh, I made him sad. So you're gonna be mad at me? Better not be. Cause what if he, what if he tries my to- hat. <gasps> Congratulations, Jimmy, you did it. What? Yeah, Jimmy, congratulations. Uh, can someone explain to me what's happening? We stole your hat just to create uh, an adventure for you. We only did it because today is your birthday. Uh, Guys, my birthday's not today. Also, someone has to give me some money to repair that wall of my house. Oh, <laughs> Jimmy, look behind you. A flying unicorn. <gasps> what? Where is it? Oh. Guys, where are you? Come back. Like, I really want that money. Well... This is the end of our story. No, it's I not. Hope the story wasn't too scary for you. Now Jimmy will have to pay for the damage with his own money. But in the end, he found his favorite hat. And this hat, it's me. Yeah, kids, I'm a talking hat <laughs> and narrator of this story. I guess that makes <laughs> sense of why the narrator yeah. disappeared. <laughs> when that... Okay. Look, 
they said probably not, but uh, there was a few jump scares in there. I don't know why it got me, but I'm like, Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. but yeah, that wasn't too bad, yeah, you know. Oh, good shit, good shit. Okay. Wait, is there anything at the end? I don't know what that says in Italian. Does it look like I'm speaking Italian? JQRZN. What does that mean? JQRZN. I don't think I saw anything where I can put something in. I don't know. Very confused. Either way. Thank you everyone so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, I know this is a bit of a short video, but I thought I may as well just cut through one game and see how it goes. It was fun. It was fun. It was nice and cute and all that. And, um, but hey, it still jump scared me for some reason. So, I mean, like, you can't really complain too much. But either way, thank you everyone so much for watching. If you like the video, like the video and make sure you subscribe and do all that kind of stuff. And I will see everyone in the next video. See you guys.